this new age kingdom. The name for it is called Shambhala. And Shambhala is, oh, it's just this beautiful state of being. It's this beautiful nirvana. There's a rock group named that. Uh, this beautiful nirvana, this wonderful, where nobody hates each other anymore and everybody's nice to each other. And get this now, we live in harmony with our goddess mother of fertility, Isis, Ishtar, Venus, Diana, Mystery, Babylon, the Great, the Mother of Harlots, and Abominations of the Earth. That's what, that's what Shambhala really is all about. And they teach you that Shambhala can be reached through seven initiations, like seven rays, seven... Uh, you remember the Statue of Liberty? going to be talking about that one of these days, has seven rays coming out of her head. It represents the seven levels of initiation or the seven chakras of kundalini and yoga. Let's see, also the seven sacraments of the Roman Catholic mystery religion. That's out of their own words. Okay, So all this number seven creeps in. What does that have to do with? Revelation 13. Remember this king? Comes up out of the bottomless pit. Guess how many heads he has? Seven. It's seven heads. What do they represent? They are the opposite of the seven spirits of God shown to us in Revelation and mentioned in Isaiah chapter 11. Go study it. Chapter 11, uh, I think it's 1 and 2, give you the seven spirits of God. The Antichrist spirits, these uh, seven initiations, these seven rays, these chakras, uh, the, the Masonic ladder, the Masonic ladder has everything to do with the Mithraic initiation. Al, uh, Albert Pike talks about that. Manley Hall talks about it. And that through these seven steps or these seven initiations, now I want you to notice this symbol here, the ladder. Remember from all the other things that we've studied, what is this ladder a symbol of? It's a symbol of the bridging the gap between earth and heaven. The ladder is a symbol for man's DNA. Remember, it's encoded into the, the uh, X chromosomes, which is where you get the cross and the swastika and all that stuff. But masonry teaches that by ascending up this ladder of seven rungs that you will achieve Shambhala, Nirvana, whatever you want to call it, this new age kingdom of peace and enlightenment. They're, they're all pointing you... You know, when you hear, like, especially like politicians including George Bush. He should have never said this. But they always say, after all, all roads lead to the same God. Now, as Christians go, no, they don't. No, well, yeah, all except one. All roads, all religions point to the same God except one religion, and that is the religion of this Bible right here that does not deviate from the Word of God. Talking about Bible Christianity. It'll point you to the real God, the real Savior Jesus Christ, the real New Jerusalem. But all of this other stuff will take you to a false God. Elise Bailey wrote several books, like I said a while ago. She uh, was under the influence of a demonic spirit by the name of Joao Kuhl. And she formed a, an organization for educating, for printing books, publications, what have you, to educate the masses concerning the mystery religion. She originally called it the Lucifer Publishing Company. I mean, she's like naming who her leader is, who her God is. They've since changed it now to the Lucis Trust. And the Lucis Trust just happens to be one of those organizations that has its headquarters uh, in the United Nations building and associated with the United Nations. Now, there's something interesting that I know about the United Nations other than we ought not be in it, but we are. Um, the United Nations has a, and it's a, it's a religious organization. They say, oh, we're just politics and bringing everybody together. No, it's a religious organization because they have, uh, they have what's called a meditation room. And this meditation room, uh, it, boy, it's, it's just weird. You got to, I mean, you see it up there. Um, this weird design in the background that you never really know what it means. Remember, that's the essence of a mystery religion. And then standing before, now these, I guess maybe the, uh, the bureau back here would represent the gods, you know, the emblem of worship. And then here you have, um, you have this big block here. 
That is a 13. Remember the 13 words of Mystery of Babylon, the great mother of harlots, abomination of the earth. That has, it, it's a 13,000 pound block of iron. It represents the iron kingdom that Daniel spoke of in Daniel chapter 2. That fourth kingdom, principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places, the devils, the, the familiar spirits, the ascended masters, their kingdom. That's who that iron represents. That iron kingdom that will one day mingle themselves with the seed of men. Literally, his DNA. And that's what is the core and the essence of this New Age movement. Daniel chapter 2 verse 40, 41. And whereas thou sawest the feet and the toes part of potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be in it the strength of the iron. For as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay, and as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men literally in, embedded into his DNA but they shall not cleave one to another even as iron is not mixed with miry clay now Elise Bailey she revealed in her ingenious plan in her 1957 volume, The Externalization of the Hierarchy, here's what she said. New Age agents would infiltrate the Christian church to modify its message, transforming it as an instrument for the universal religion of the 21st century. Here is an article where it quotes her. The goal of the New Age movement has consistently been to bring in the age of Aquarius. I want you to remember that. When all will recognize, here it is, the God within themselves. I want you to remember that statement. I, I want you, if you got a piece of paper and a pencil, I want you to write that down. Elise Bailey, who was hearing from a demon, said that we're going to recognize the God within ourselves. I want you to remember that. Okay? Uh, recognize the God within themselves. A major step toward this in the words of the New Age prophetess Elise Bailey is, quote, the regeneration of the churches. Stop right here. Regeneration. Genes. DNA. The DNA of the Bible-believing Christian church is this King James Bible right here. That is the DNA. It's represented in other languages, I know that. But here it is right here. The DNA of God's church, the generation, is the Word of God. We need to regene the church, is what she's saying. We need to change the DNA. Have they done that? Yeah, with new Bibles. They've changed the DNA of the church. Therefore, they have regenerated the church. Her branches can serve as a St. John the Baptist, as a voice crying in the wilderness, and as a nucleus through which world illumination may be accomplished. In a word, she desired the time when the, quote, Christian churches would embrace New Age concepts of illumination and self Realization. Here's what she said. The mysteries. Talking about the mystery religions. The mystery ideas. The cults. ISIS being unveiled. The mysteries will be restored to outer expression through the medium of the church. Because the Christ, their version of the Christ, is the hierophant of the first and second initiations. He will administer the first initiation in the inner sanctuary of the church. You know what she's saying here? She's saying that when, you know, the, the new age really takes off and gets in full gear, she's saying that it's going to be done because we have successfully in, infiltrated the church. We've taken over. Remember what Lucifer said in his one, two, three, four, five point plan. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. That's the angelic realm. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. The congregation is a church word. Does the devil want to conquer the church? Man, every day I wake up, there's the devil saying, I think I can get you today. I, I, I think I can do it. He wants to conquer the church. Why? Because the church stands.